this is Victor with Yellow Pine Plugs and um, today I wanted to show you how I take care of baby rabbits. Um, we rescued some rabbits, a whole litter of them, um, out of our yard and I had to look up how do you take care of a baby bunny. Uh, we've had them for almost a week. Uh, when we first got them uh, they had just opened their eyes uh, they weren't eating any uh, solid food yet, so I had to uh, had to feed them uh, special. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. I got a a baby medicine thing, a kids medicine thing, and it is just full of two percent milk. So here's the setup that I've got them in. Right now they're in a tote. And it might be kind of gross in here. Yeah, it's pretty gross. This is the first time I've checked on them uh, today. So what we've got here is I have two different beds set up. And this jug here, you can see, is empty almost. Now that I've had them for about a week, I think they're three and a half weeks old probably. Um, this is where I put in the vegetables. I'm just using cut up dandelions from my yard. Then you can see they've eaten them all. So there's one of the baby bunnies. Say hi to YouTube. And what it is doing, or was just doing, is drinking. So the really neat thing, I've trained them how to drink out of this. Um, initially they didn't, they wouldn't touch it, so I put milk in it so that uh, they would they would drink it, and they did. As you can see, this takes a lot of work off of my hands. Uh, they drank almost all that. That was full last night when I uh, put these guys to bed, essentially. So all the rest of them are in this container here. Um, they're in there. As you can see, I've got shredded paper is the bedding, and then there's also some wood chips. Uh, plenty of ventilation holes, um, enough to keep the air well vented, but not drafty. So, so that's that. And then, now it's not near as important now, because as you can see, they are eating food. Um, you know, let's see if I can show you this. There you go. The ones, that's how they drink from the little rabbit water thing. Like I said, I've got um, milk in there. So, they need milk, <coughs> at least at first. Now it's not as important. I could probably switch them to water soon. And then the little uh, reddish purple wheel brick looking thingy in there was a, uh, it's like a little salt disc. So I guess it's got some extra minerals and things like that that they need. So, well, here, I'll just catch one of these guys. I'll catch one of the ones that's in here sleeping. There, there's a baby bunny. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Um, again, not near as important now, but let's see if we'll take any. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So this is how that goes. It took um, a little bit to get them trained on this too, because again, this is not their mom. This is uh, a syringe full of milk. The first time that I fed them. They only took about half of a milliliter each. Um, now that they're bigger, they've been taking as many as six milliliters each. Um, and then now, because they've figured out how to use the bunny water, um, if I get to them before they've eaten, they'll take about six milliliters, probably more. Um, but if I get to them after they've already drank on their own, um, you know, they'll just, I'll kind of top them off. So they don't need this anymore. I still, when I go in at night and in the morning, I still take each one and give them milk this way, uh, just to make sure that nobody's missing out. I know a couple of them are a little bit bigger than the others. Um, there's one that started eating uh, the vegetables sooner than all the others so it would be easy for them to get crowded out. A couple things to consider when you do this. Um, you want to be careful that the rabbit doesn't jump away 
And then you also need to be careful that you don't accidentally squirt the milk up the bunny rabbit's nose. Um, when you do this, you want to have a fairly quiet environment, right? Uh, they've, they're a little more used to us now, uh, but when I first did this, they wouldn't drink if my kids were around playing um, or if I was talking. But now they're uh, way, way more used to us, so it's pretty easy. Um, I'll show you in a second video uh, just a quick clip of where I found these guys. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. That's a baby bunny. And that's how I feed them and take care of them. Again, they don't need it nearly as much now because, like I said, they've um, they figured out the bunny water um, and then they've also started eating fresh greens. So um, Later today, I'm actually going to make a hutch outside. Um, they're in my basement now. It's just a lot of work cleaning out this plastic thing. Uh, so I'm going to make a hutch. It's a little bigger. it will have a little more room for them to explore. So uh, That's it. That's how I take care of baby rabbits. Um, so while I got you, if you're sticking around, I want to share something with you that I read uh, this morning that really stood out to me. So I'm a Christian, and I read my Bible. I like it. And my favorite book in the Bible is First Peter. Right, if you're new to the Bible, it's pretty close to the very end of it. Uh, it's little. It's only five chapters long. And it was written by Peter, who was one of Jesus' first followers and was one of the main leaders of the first Christian church, uh, the original Christian church. And um, so he wrote a letter to a group of Christians um, all across the Roman Empire who were experiencing persecution and a lot of trouble. And I think this fits well um, to where we're at right now. So, 1 Peter 1, verse 13. So think clearly and exercise self-control. Look forward to the gracious salvation that will come to you when Jesus Christ is revealed to the world. Um, and one of the things that I like about this verse is it's a good reminder of how we should handle crises uh, around us, what we can do to, uh, in a sense, to keep our head, right? The New King James says, gird up the loins of your mind. So there's a rabbit that I just fed. Uh, he's kind of exploring around a little bit, and then here in a bit, he'll crawl back into the tube with all the others. So, um, but yeah, I just, I love that verse. It says, think clearly and exercise self-control. Uh, and it's a good reminder to those of us who are Christians that we have a hope. Um, we have a hope beyond what's here now, right? So there's the coronavirus going on. Um, even without the coronavirus, there's all sorts of crud um, and all sorts of bad stuff that goes on in the world around us. And I think it's just a wonderful reminder that we can be calm in the midst of the chaos, right? We can experience um, inner peace despite what's going on around us. So um, I would encourage you to take, I don't know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and read the book of First Peter for yourself. Again, it's in the Bible. <laughs> it's towards the end of it. If you have a hard copy, if you go online and use something like BibleGateway.com, or just type in First Peter and that will get you to it. So, I hope you are well. Um, I hope this was helpful in terms of how to take care of bunny rabbits. Um, and that is all.